Is that is that referring to an ocean or just like out of a the abyss. abyss? Well, I'll tell you because here's the deal. Uh, All right. Deep beneath the surface of the world lies the Underdark, a realm of endless labyrinthine tunnels and caverns where the sun never shines. The Underdark is filled with races and creatures too numerous to counter list, and foremost among these are Dark Elves, the Drow. So, like, uh, they, What if I want an actual count? Yeah, well, you're going to yeah. have to buy all the books and all the supplementals, <laughs> and you're going to have to do a lot of reading and cataloging. Well, good luck. Or you, and there, and I'll be back. Chance. I'll be right okay. back. I'll go do that right now. You want to do a can little I, bit of character? Or you can par, par it. It's too late. It's too late, rage. Rivet. It's too late to do the research because <sighs> you have been captured by the drow. Whatever your life was before, oh, whatever you had to do every day, whatever your job was, your family, all your friends, they're gone. You are all currently imprisoned by the drow. You've been thrown into uh, I'm, I'm always in prison into a jail cell deep underneath and you have you like you haven't been oh. here before you don't know where you are what is going on but you, here you are You've sounds been fun uh, roll uh, everybody roll a d10 <laughs> so you go to that little <laughs> die icon and right. then switch it to d10 and you can roll that up there ooh Okay. One. Jim, one. Five. Salt. Who's salty crust? <laughs> salty crust. Uh, <laughs> wow. You just rolling all the stuff. Okay. So your first roll is a five and doofy. I did. I get it. Did it roll? I didn't hear the noise. Yes. Did. Yeah. yeah you, well, you if you look along the side, you can see there's also a tally of what. What's there? Uh, it just says salty crust. I. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, I. Sorry. So. Uh, crazy. You've been here for nine days. Salty Crust 5 and Doofy Food Nuts <laughs> has been here. The most recent member had just arrived two days ago. and uh, Hell yeah. They, they they almost didn't get me. I almost got away. They the, These drow raiding parties are always around uh, in the Underdark, on, Underdark and over on the surface too. They're always looking to capture people, to, uh, steal them away, uh, and put them into slavery basically. You know, and you've heard like between the prisoners that are in here with you and uh, and just from what the your captors have told you you've been you've been uh, consigned to slavery basically and you're you're here as like kind of a waiting point you're about to be picked up probably in the next week or so week or two weeks uh, to be brought to the next place where you'll be sold off in a bigger in the big drow city yeah, you uh, while you're in this prison, you are uh, shackled by the neck, and your hands are shackled together. And as, as is everybody else, all of these prisoners. There's actually a bunch of them all told. And since you've been here for a couple of days, you've met the whole kind of cast of characters. Um, There's more. Yeah, these are all the people, all, all your fellow prisoners. There's Where are those uh, dots? Oh, shit. How, how, how do I get rid of them? I drawn dots all over my mouth. I worked hard on this. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I am, but I don't want. I want to get rid of them now. I think I can. You're a failed artist. You Kirk just gotta him. select them. There's a select icon as well. The arrow at the top, the top cursor. Oh, shit. So God instead of using your damn little paintbrush, you can just yeah, and then you just can delete them, or you can swivel them oh, around. Or, yeah. There we go. All right, good. Got it. <laughs> or just delete. That's what I do. Like I could just delete you right off this map right now. No, you're back. Ooh, in I'd prison. get out of prison, though. That'd be good. You had a short nap, and you dreamed of a world huh. where you weren't in prison by the drow, but you definitely are. Captured by Gosh. the drow. You wouldn't wish... At least I'm comfortable. <laughs> you're not, actually. You wouldn't wish I don't know. this fate... I'm, I'm used to being tied up and chained up like this. It's a good time. <laughs> yeah, but you're in a room with... Oh, jeez, how many people are there? Ten? Hey, 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 hey it's Rivet. Ten hey, it's Rivet. Uh, you wouldn't wish this fate upon anyone, in fact. Yet, here you are, locked in a dark cave, the cold, heavy weight of metal tight around your throat and wrists. You're not alone. Other prisoners are trapped in here with you, in an underground outpost, far from the light of the sun. Your captors include a cruel drow priestess, who calls herself mm -hmm. Mistress Ilvara of Hev's Misrum. Ilvara, yeah. over the past several days, you've met her, you've met 
uh, her associates as well, robed in silken garments. She's flanked by two male drow, uh, one of whom has a mass of scars along the side of his face and neck. His hand is also a little bit, you can see it's crippled in a way. It's kind of shriveled up. Mr. Silvara likes to impress her, her will with Scourge in hand to remind you that your life now belongs to her. Accept your fate. Learn to obey and you may survive. Her words echo in your memory even as you plot your escape. So you've been here for a certain amount of days uh, and you know all these people. Uh, like you've gotten to kind of get to know all these people crazy. Maybe you've had a little more uh, interaction with them but why don't you take a take a second here to like talk about your character uh like where you came from where you've been and you know you you know you started from the bottom and now you're fucking deep 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 underground so started at the bottom now i'm further down yeah, yeah. so uh, uh, it's crazy you go first since you've been here the longest when you first got well. here there was obviously less people around there wasn't a, a an orc woman or a dwarf but, uh, yeah, I'm just, you know, Dragonborn. You know, I may fade, became a warlock. He told me I'm going to be a knight. Who are you? Who are you telling this to? You're just talking to whoever you want yeah. in the in yeah. the room. Who would you I, pick I to talk God. to out of these people? Uh, you can see there's uh, this guy here. He's like he's pretty friendly. He, he'll talk to you if you want he's, to talk to him. Yeah, he looks friendly. Yeah, he looks crazy. Him. He's a Darrow, actually, <laughs> which is like a kind of like a dwarf, but like a really gaunt dwarf. And like, uh, like you've heard stories generally uh, in, in your life, even over to, in the overworld, that's of these like different races from the Underdark. But this is the first time you've met, I would say, any of them. Uh, like face to face, you've only heard like tales and legends of them, but Adaro is basically like, from what you know, a dark, a dark, crazy race of dwarves who are all pretty much insane. Uh, they, they think they like they have these, uh, they have the this god that they worship and they think they were created from, but really they, you know, the word on the street is that uh, that wasn't really. They're just they're just insane. Like they're just completely insane, and they are. Uh, but this guy seems pretty nice, honestly. All told, he's listening to your story, and he's like, "Wow, I've never, I've never met a dragon before. I mean, I, I've heard about a lot about dragons, but uh, the, yeah, I mean, they, uh, they seem bigger. You don't have any wings either. What's the deal with that?" Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're rule of talking to a dragonborn. Don't talk about the wings. Oh well, that's, I mean, sorry. I mean, oh, dragonborn. Oh, I. That's a different thing, I guess. Yeah, yeah, oh. Yeah. yeah. It, so, it kind of touchy, touchy. <laughs> touchy subject. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Uh, well, uh, you know, that's that's cool. Uh, what, are you, what are you in for? How'd they get you? Well, I was just traveling around, and all of a sudden, a raiding party pop out of nowhere. Bunch of drow? They dragged me down here. Yeah. Bunch of the normal drow things. Let's draw. They think they're better than everybody, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Like, it happens. Like this guy over here, and he kind of points over at uh, this guy. There is oh. one. One of the characters is a drow, and he kind of just like, ba like barely seems to notice, but does give like a little, huh, like you know, just a little like scuff, uh, a guffaw mm -hmm. to himself. And he just like, he's like sitting against the cave, uh, the cave wall, uh, like kneeled down, kind of like arms crossed, head like pretty much in his chest, and he uh, he's just like he's been sitting there like the whole time you've been there. He just like is sitting there, kind of off to himself, sullen and kind of you know moody, <laughs> as it were, brooding. I'd say brooding. Remind me, drit, <laughs> It's because he's sitting next to a giant mushroom. There is a giant mushroom sitting next to him too. Kind of, he's like not leaned up against it, but kind of leaning up, kind of sitting there. And and you see it moving around. Like you can, you'll notice it. Let's throw a rivet in there as well. It's like your day has come. So yeah, like a couple days after you get there, crazy. There's a like door opens and a, a rough and tumble looking dwarf is thrown in there. Strip everybody's stripped of their armor, weapons, like everything's been taken from you, and uh, they throw you in there. 
and they slam the cage door. A couple drow like, just like kind of, you know, brush off their hands and walk away. Bastards. Come <laughs> legit. There's another dwarf. This uh, young lady dwarf over here, big red braids, yeah. kind of helps you to your feet. And just like, oh, it's good to see another dwarf. Another one. Hands off me, lady. Oh, uh, gee, I was just trying to help you up, sir. Sorry nope. about that. Gingers have no souls. Oh, well, I mean, <laughs> the picture <laughs> says that you have orange hair as well, Riven, but I assume I, your yeah, own you're character. Very much a Why don't you, like, describe <laughs> yourself as what you look like? I'll oh, no, I have red hair, but I know I have no soul. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't, I don't like associating right. with myself, let alone other people of my kind. In that case, she's like, well, you, your hair is red as well. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like you. <laughs> Fine then. I thought I'd found a friend, but I guess I'll just stand over here. And she just Why don't you go ask the dragon about his wings? I'm going to go eat him up. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, you hear you hear this dwarf mention dragon and wings in the same sentence. I'm going to go fidget the drow. Going to go fidget my drow? Is that what he's saying? <laughs> it must be a dragonborn thing. I'm not sure. Probably. He's gonna turn the drow into Dude, a fidget I don't spoon. know that. Quite the answer to that question. So I have a this quick guy, question. This guy just kind of looks to you and says, uh, uh, "Dwarves, am I right?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your question, Ruth? <laughs> that mushroom. I'm in a party mood since I just got. You know, I'm gonna be stuck here for a while, so I'm wondering what kind of mushroom it is. Is there any possibility of me taking a bite out of it? This guy sees you looking and he's like, you like mushrooms? Yes. I mean, me too. It's pretty much all we get to eat here in the Underdark. I assume you're not from around here. What's your story, pal? Where are you from? I'm not from here. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I did gather that, but uh, I mean, what do you, uh, how'd you get here? What What happened? I had, a, I had a little backstory for you, but I don't know if you want to work with this. Just no, it's simple. It's up. like yeah. I it, there was it was a night I was in a bar. It involved tequila and grog, and I don't remember anything else until I got here. Okay, I can work with that. I do have a backstory for you, but when you put it like that, I'll uh, I'll let it reveal itself. Oh God! <laughs> Perhaps as we go. So yeah, <laughs> we'll work with that for now. Uh, great. So a, a drunken night. Uh, uh, typical. Typical. It happens far too often. Uh, Not often enough. Well, uh, if you ever wanted to kick the habit, now's the time. It looks like we're locked up pretty good here. I'm going to eat mushrooms. Uh, wait, 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 wait. wait. We, we'll get dinner. They do feed us once a day. Uh, it should be coming up here soon, but I just want to say that mushroom there, you don't, you don't want to eat that mushroom there. Why? It looks like my kind of mushroom. Well, his name is Stool. Uh, he's actually a pretty nice guy. He's probably the probably the nicest person in here. Maybe maybe in maybe next to old Shusha here in this uh this big fish looking humanoid kinda looks up and uh kinda nods, nods happily and goes back to like he looks like he's just meditating in the corner. But seriously, the the mushroom, the myconoid, he's pretty good. The the myconid. Sorry. I have a hard time with that word. <laughs> He's your accent. <laughs> he's a pretty good guy. He's a pretty good guy. You know, he's uh, not so bad. Yeah, so I'll no, introduce no, you if you want. You want to stool? I'll meet Mike. Sure. Stool, oh, stool, get stool. over here. And this little mushroom just like hobbles his way, toddles his way over, kind of squishes between the dragonborn and and the Darrow over here, Pepito. Oh, sorry, his name's Pepito. He did introduce himself, and actually, we'll throw a cartooner in there as well. Like this is. Very friendly dungeon. Hold on, right after this, right after this little thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, like everybody's. What else we got? They're not to all do? friendly. Just you get to meet the friendly ones first because they're up to talking. <laughs> the other ones do look like this big old orc in the corner looks mean and just upset, uh, and you know the drow is just mopey in the corner. Uh, the other, this guy here, this. Uh, this guy is a quaggoth. You know what a quaggoth is from the overworld, of course. But uh, it's basically like a big, almost yeti-looking monster. Uh, like big, long arms down to the ground. Uh, he's got like weird, kind of like like a tunic on, which is strange for a monster. But 
And he's kind of like just sullen to himself in the corner too. You see, you kind of hear him talking to himself once in a while, kind of under his breath, uh, which again is kind of strange for a monster uh, over the days. Uh, but most people kind of keep to themselves. And also, there are work duty that's happening kind of constantly. So the the times that you're all in the cell together is basically only for a few hours late at night when they feed you and then you sleep for a few hours before they get you up early in the morning to start doing shifts again, doing work labor all around the camp. Uh, but yeah, you, yeah. you meet the Mike and it, uh, the mushroom and everybody kind of like a few of the party members gather around as you get in there. Uh, because there's a big, there's kind of a li- big language barrier. Everyone's kind of having a difficult time, but some of the characters seem to know what is going on when this happens. And, uh, all of a sudden, this the stool puffs out this cloud of like mushroom spores, and everybody inhales, and, and suddenly you can hear telepathically everybody's voice in your head as you're talking to each other, as well as stools who's like, "Hey, how's it going?" And he's kind of talking to everybody. Okay. But he's talking to you, meet Rivet, because he's meeting you for the first time. I'm sorry. Yes. You hear this little voice in your head just going, Hey, how's it going? Damn voices are back. I need more tequila. No, it's just me, Stool. Little Stool. How, How are you talking to me? I'm pretty sure you were trying to eat me at first. I just wanted to make sure we avoid that. <laughs> I'm talking to you the only way I know how. I am in trouble. <laughs> And this uh, this Darrow, the the crazy yes. the crazy looking Darrow, yes, just starts are. laughing to himself, uh, and Jim Jar kind of chuckles as well, and he's like, he's got telepathy, man. That's how we that's how he talks. It's pretty useful uh, for keeping it down. Sometimes the guards get uh, get a little pissed off when we're rowdy or loud in here, but uh, but yeah, he's pretty helpful for that. Uh, so then we'll go to like a couple days later, door opens again, and. And doofy Get fuck nuts is fucking throwing. hands off, dirty guards. Jesus Christ! They kind of, the grip on these guys. It's insane. They're just like they're squeezing and squeezing. And it's like, yeah, I'm big and tough, but Jesus. Yeah, you do look big and tough there. Oh, sorry, I got the voice wrong, but you do look big and tough there. Ah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fuck nuts. You're here. Uh, you're greeted by the dwarf, who who kind of is like. Nice to you as, like, the only other female... Ah, there is one more female, actually, but the only other, like, relatively humanoid female going on. Kind of welcomes you to the to the crew. She does nod over to the twins who are over <laughs> here. These two little... Two little people. One of them yeah, is... Yeah, hold on. One who, is, who is that guy over... Is it, is it, that's, not, that's not Jeremy, is it? The guy in the corner over there, the angry-looking orc? Oh, uh... You see, uh, uh, his name's uh, his name's Ron, actually. Ah, and he hears okay. like his name and looks up, and then just yeah, sees see, he you. looks like my cousin, so I wasn't like I wasn't sees sure. you, and just like all of a sudden, all the meanness and all the like, all the terrible vibes that he was putting off just kind of drip away, and he like loses himself in the vision of this beautiful orc woman who has just <laughs> entered the room. <laughs> like stripped of all your armor and stuff too, so like you might be wearing nothing or like just like a sack or whatever, or just yeah, like probably um, just whatever wearing a sack. whatever yeah. underclothes you have on. They might have like yeah, just like oh, oh. oh shit, he's looking at me, uh, <laughs> man, man. What do I do? Oh, God, I, I can't, I can't like get with him. Like I said, he looks like my cousin. This guy here, he's like, I- I'm Jim Jar. Well, I mean, when he what? Get- I'm Jim Jar. I can't. I I don't know what you're saying. Your uh, accent. It's just. It, yeah, he's got a really gravelly gnomish accent, which is fair. Like I don't think you would understand his accent. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm I didn't get going, the telepathy dust. You didn't. That was actually like. I don't know. That was a day or two ago as well, so it's kind of worn off. It doesn't last like forever. But uh, yeah, pretty much he'll he'll be back over here, and you know. Uh, but yeah, the, so that's. That's life. That's life in here. And each of these kind of moments have happened, like at the late at night time when they when they kind of gather you all together. They'll add the prisoners they've caught that day into the pile, and then uh, you see uh, coming up to the sorry, coming up to the cage. A few uh, like maybe a half an hour or so later is a 
a couple of guards, uh, and Ilvira Ilvira herself is there with uh, wish with this guy Shore. Some of you might know their names, or you can hear kind of through the grapevine from some of the other prisoners. Uh, and they throw they kind of slide in a couple of uh, a couple of like buckets of this liquid with uh, with a bunch of bowls, kind of a bowl for everybody. And uh, oh my god, Shore looks at uh, Ilvara, Ilvara and says, "It's getting pretty full in there. We're gonna have to." Uh, oh wait, I have little character things for this. Ilvara has a whip. Oh, kinky. Uh, mm-hmm. Like a like kind of like a flail. Here, let me open up this uh, reveal kinky. areas. Definitely kinky. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Ilvara's got this. Uh, oh, sorry, she's not in the prison, but she's got this. Whip. Oh, terribly stretched JPEG. Whoa. Amazing. She's got this like whip that's uh, like tentacles. It's called mm-hmm. tent- tentacle <laughs> rod. Oh. And uh, yeah. well, 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 what's and nine we tail. here? I caught a nine tails. Yes, her side. I've tails. been around. I've been around this. Uh, this. This before. She's just like shut up, shut up, all of you. Oh, why don't you make me shut up? Mm. Don't ask me twice. I'm, How about I ask I'm you not, a third? I'm not asking. I'm just like requesting. She just like takes a glance at, just kind of steps back, takes, gives a little nod to a uh, one of the guards who like raises a crossbow. Into oh, the, you're not as fun. Like, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll just go sit in the corner. <laughs> uh, and Navarro says, yeah, it is getting pretty full. We've got, you know, we've got, uh, we've got plans to clear this place out within the next week or so. So we'll make more room for more. Don't you worry about it. You just keep those raids going. And the, the, her kind of second in command, this guy nods and like gives the proper respect and like kind of gives a smirk into the, into the cage at the rest of you. And they kind of go. Can I off. glare back? You can. You can, yeah. You can glare back. I'm, gl- I'm gonna glare back at them. At them. Because yeah. I don't trust this. I don't trust this sneaky ass. You shouldn't. They are your. As captains. I should. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, they head back in through uh, kind of across this bridge that you can see into a building. I suppose you could probably see that some of that too, uh, at least to the front of the building. And then, uh, and then yeah, you're kind of left alone to have your meal. Uh, you know you only have a few hours to sleep before the morning comes, and you got to get put back to work. But uh, you, work you do know call. that uh, they'll go away. But these guards, you know, they stay there in this building, and they kind of keep an eye on you through the building. So you're like, like 25, 30 feet away. They have the door open. They can see your front of your cage, and they know it's pretty solid. They'll hear any commotion that's going on. If it's too loud, I'll say. Like, they won't hear talking and stuff. Unless they're right up against the cage, but but yeah, you have the nights to yourselves. A full house. Does anyone here have a spoon? <laughs> Does anyone there have a spoon? Let's see. Negative. No, but I know how to. You kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this pervert dwarf? Does anyone, anyone know who this guy is? <laughs> he, he, Listen, he, what he I lose, friend of mine, says the the lady dwarf, and kind of like takes her takes her stew. It's like you look at the liquid; it's like a mushroom, like a really thin mushroom Ooh. soup. Like it's pretty much just mushroom flavored water. Oh my god! There's a hair in mine. Yeah, they they'll do that to you. They put that in there on purpose. Ugh, gross! It's like they don't know nothing about courtesy. He <laughs> like yells out the gate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, keep it down. You hear like it's in another language, but you hear someone yell back like, "Hey, shut up!" <laughs> Pie is joined. Okay, sweet. This is great. Um, this is great. I want to go check the Discord, but yeah, you know, role play, role play it up, you guys. You're in here for the night. Share the food. You know, talk to each other. Well, who? I need. We need. I mean, you heard the murder. I mean, we're going. If we're leaving in a week. We're not leaving alive. I'm just saying. They, they, I, I mean, if if they were gonna use us, they were gonna, they would have done it by now. We've been here a, a long time. So speaking of spoons, <laughs> hello, is this on? Spoons. Are you gonna are you gonna continue that sentence or? 
No, I was going to think that this soup that they gave us is awfully kind of bland. I was wondering if a stool would mind uh, dipping his toe in it to make the flavor a little bit better. <laughs> he hears this name and kind of comes out, and then he realizes, like, you still want to oh, eat him. And why is the like, mushroom moving? Backs up a bit. He backs up actually into the orc who, like, shoves him back, and he falls down onto his face a little bit. An orc, like, says something to him in orcish, which you understand is like, get out of my face, That's no way to treat food. And it, no one's going to explain to me why the mushroom is moving? It's a myconid. Uh, this is, uh, this is this, uh, magic. Bonito. Magic. Not quite magic, actually, sir, but it's called a myconid. Uh, if you didn't know, it's, uh, a, a mushroom people in, in a way. He's a, he's a living, sentient creature. Uh, he does have his own way of communication, but he's just a little guy. He's just. He's basically a toddler out here. I don't know how he got in, wrapped up into this in the first place, but uh, I think it had something to do with the drow. They seem to have some strange connection of uh, some kind. Well, he's creepy, so... Well... Yeah, the drow's creepy as fuck, honestly. I, I, that's coming from <laughs> me. I'm a darrow. <laughs> But the, uh, they do think they're better than everybody. That's part of the reason why we're all in this prison in the first place. They they have no regard for any other race other than themselves. So what's your story, Stool? Speak to me in my head again. I dare you. he like, come up to you. and in like, your head? If you want to gather around for the spores, which everybody usually would like to do. Oh, I'm down for a spore. He just, like, gets spored up and then feels like, hey. Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> uh, just actually, I'll say just before this sporing happening. Oh happens, shit! Uh, I got rid of myself. <laughs> <laughs> How did you escape? <laughs> I just popped out of existence. Wait, shit! Just, I think uh, you're under crazy. Undo. Alt, alt I don't, Z. How do you undo? Alt Z. But that Control didn't work. Z. Control Z. Oh god dang it! Are you back? No, you're not back. No, Let I'm me get back. your dang body back in the freaking ring. <laughs> hey, go. I'm back. That was probably uh, a good time to jump in. Hi, if you're here, yeah, jump in, man. So, Hello, me, hi. what's your name of character? Name of character and race, Pi. What do you think? Yeah, I not ready at all. <laughs> pick, pick one off the whim. You got to pick it now, man. You We're still it. figuring it out ourselves, Pi. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about stats. Don't worry about like whatever. We're just gonna make it happen. But um, just. Don't become a mushroom because apparently I'm obsessed and I'll want to eat you. <laughs> Sounds nice. Sounds nice. I'm going to have mushroom pizza tonight, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm terrible at names. It's okay. Why Ray, do you do racing this? Racing class. We don't even need a name yet. You don't You didn't need to tell anyone your name right off the bat. Um, um, Doofy Fucknuts is taken, so if that yeah, was part of the Damn. Take... I think it's Fucknuts, actually. <laughs> I I'm had not just sure. come up with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But what are you? What what uh, race are you, anyways? Uh, can I be anything? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> anything you want. Pretty much. I'll just be. I'll just be. A, mm -hmm. I don't know the stat bonuses of races. Doesn't matter today. We're just role playing today, pretty much. I'll be a dwarf. Dwarf, another dwarf for the party. Nice. Okay. Oh, uh, do you have a class in mind? Uh, paladin. Okay. Sweet. All right, so you guys are talking, and uh, you just hear a little bit of a scuffle off to the side. Some of the uh, some of the guards are dragging one more dwarf in, and uh, you know they're you know having he's unconscious for the moment. They've basically knocked him out, but they're dragging him in. They throw him in. And they're like three dwarfs. It's been a good week, and then uh, kind of click yeah. click the thing and take off back. Why do you? Hi, everybody is shackled by the neck and the hands, uh, and everybody is jammed into this small underground prison. Uh, you've been captured by the drow. And how mm. how strong are orc teeth? Orc teeth are you know fairly strong. Like, could we start like could I could me and me and Ron over there or whatever his name is. We, could we start biting through people's chains as we attempt to escape? You could do that, yeah. I mean, you go go give Ron to talk, but let me get. Uh... Well, yeah, Why don't you just chew on their wrists Ron. instead? So you I can, think you like... can move yourself. Can I move myself? Yeah. yeah. 
How do I do that? Hold I've been on. doing it uh... <laughs> quite a bit. Hold on. So I was able to delete oh. myself, and I can't seem to yeah, move you myself. I move myself. Hold on, i got to give you your control. Um, do, 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 doofy, there you go. You should be able to do it now. There we go. All right, I'm going to go talk to him. He just, like, gives you this look of utter fatuation. Oh, shit, look at that. And he uh, <laughs> says hi in orc, like, so oh, awkwardly. Hey. Are your are your teeth like when, when was the last time you went to the dentist? Dentist? Yeah, you, you know, like guy like that cleans your teeth and stuff. Wait, where are you from? Are you from? He says he's. Uh, I'm from the top. The uh, the land. Black, I'm from black. the land. I. Okay. Uh, he looks well, really like ashamed for a second. No, you're, dude, you're good. You're good. It's I hard. ran that's away. <laughs> He's like, I know, ran away. Groomsh is so mad at me. And you know, Groomsh, well, Groomsh is like the orc god of war. Oh, Groomsh listen, is Gro punishing me. He, no, no, he's like, Groomsh he's like opening up to you and just like spilling <laughs> his whole story. <laughs> no, I no, ran. Groomsh, I was Groomsh, fighting man, no. with dwarves, and I ran away. And I fell oh, in a hole, Lord. and I wandered the tunnels, and then I captured the elves. The dark elves captured me. Oh, I was captured kind of by elves. Groomsh is pissed. God, jeez, you're kind of a pussy. All right, <laughs> um, listen, I have an idea. You need here, and I, you know, I raise up. He's I trying need you too to hard bite. to hear you insult need, him, but Ron, you need to pay it. Ron, and I slap him in the Hell. face. Come on, <laughs> Ron, <laughs> listen. Him. The uh, only like, way Grooms will be happy it. with you again is if you help me out right now. I need you to pay attention. Okay. He kind of is like, Listen. that's that's a good plan. <laughs> Never <laughs> thought of it before about Listen. trying to like get bite. back into the good graces. Bite my chains, and then and I'll gonna and I'll bite yours, and we'll kind of we'll start getting everyone out of here. You heard these fuckers? They're not. They are. <laughs> they're not gonna keep us alive much longer. They are going to keep you alive. They do want to keep you alive to sell you, basically. Yeah, but I don't know that. No, you do. You do. How would I know that? They didn't tell me. Uh, well, I think the word amongst the prisoners for the past couple of days has been they're waiting. And Navarra just said it, too. Like, soon soon this prison's going to be cleared out. We're getting a new... You yeah, know, well, keep, I... Keep on I, collecting more. I know. I'm taking we'll... clearing out as in killing these fucks because you don't need them anymore. We're getting some new, better ones. Okay. Well, like... like what, what do they okay, need a fair. mushroom boy for? They don't fair. need a mushroom. Man, I'm, up, I'm up the stakes all you want. I love it. Okay, okay. Uh, so Pi Pi is here as well. While while you're talking to Runt, Pi is back in, and there's three dwarves now, which Runt actually oh. hasn't noticed <laughs> yet, but uh, he might not be super happy about it. This uh, <laughs> this lady dwarf comes up to you and says, "Another dwarf? Ah, uh, are you any friendlier than that the, the that guy?" Which he points over at Rivethead's character, um, Salty. <laughs> salty. Yep. What do you want? What did Sal I do? Salty and just a name with that one. Here, I've here. never met him. I don't know. Probably. Oh, good. Here's the deal. We've been here forever. They've been here for like a week. Most of them, week to ten days, basically. And uh, they know they're being saved up. Most of them know, anyways, that they're being saved and uh, they're going to be shipped off to the big uh, drow city uh, for for soulless slavery and stuff like that or entertainment what have you mm -hmm. oh i could i could be a good entertainer i'd be a great stripper <laughs> what you're not already no unfortunately indeed I mean, that might be the plan who knows i've got a pull back in my ship if you want to go <laughs> i mean we got to get out of here first well, let's get your friend active. Let's you, get going. I'm, you hear yeah, stool he's, in he's your head, Ruben. He says, ship? You have a ship? And I think like yeah. that spore thing happened right when Pi got there, too. So you can hear this this little like chat-like voice in your head. Being like, be like, you have a ship? Um, Actually, I don't think hey, you, you what can the hear fuck, it dog? in your head. What is this? Like, yeah. <clears throat> it's just your fuck nuts speaking out. You'll be fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's me. Ron, Ron, you almost threw this shit? Come on, we gotta get going. Stool. He talks to you, Cartooner, and says, Stool wants to get out, too. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I can, we gotta get. A, I gotta get. I gotta get this guy first. Let me get. You know, we'll we'll we'll, we'll get through it. Stool wants to go home to the Never Like Grove. That's yeah. I sure we all want to go home, but we need to. We need to do this first. So I mean, if you, I mean, you, if you want to help, feel free. You know. I can totally help. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Great. <laughs> So applied to you, Eldith is telling you, like, asking about, like, where you're from and, like, what clan you're from. And she's telling her, she's telling you about, um, that she's from Gauntlegrim, which is, like, a, actually, like, a, like, a, a big Dorvan city as well. She's really proud of being from there and is, like, really, really looking forward to getting back. And, like, talking to you about all the, like, wonderful meals and stuff and, like, all the great dwarven lifestyle things that she could finally, like, connect with somebody about. Because this Can other I dwarf be... is just, like, not having any of it. Can I be in complete denial that I'm a dwarf? Like, I was raised by humans. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I just haven't had my growth spurt yet. So, yeah, she, like, spills out her whole life story to you. And, and she's just like, so what clan are you from? What kind of dwarven history do you have? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're talking about. What? I mean, what? Who? Who's your family? What's your What's your dwarven heritage? Uh the last name's Baker. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, name Pat. I've <laughs> my never heard of them Baker. before. I've never yeah. heard of the Bakers. Yeah, my mother uh, didn't. Well, you know, she was a stay-at-home mother, raised twelve kids. Super respectable. Yeah, I just uh, I just haven't had my growth spurt yet. I know I'm like oh. 30, but you know, such a young dwarf. You're just like, oh no, no, no! I'm not a. <laughs> oh no, no! I'm I'm well into my my years as a human. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but wait, like out of character, you are a dwarf though. But you, yeah, okay. yeah, <laughs> I love it. Totally a dwarf. Okay, she just kind of gives you the weirdest look and kind of is like. Cool, and like hands you a bowl of mushroom stew and just kind of backs up to her spot, <laughs> looking out the door, just like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Every time I think I have a friend. <laughs> oh, yeah, that poor, the poor uh, I lady. Feel, I feel bad now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. She wants to, she just like starts thinking about Gauntlegrim, maybe starts humming like a, an old Dwarven tune, which you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, at, at what point is Ron through the chains? Okay, the so way. Jim Jar comes over to you and is like, "What are you guys doing over here? I heard you guys are trying to break out. Uh, you can uh, like, hey. we'll, we'll let uh, Ron to try to do a check against the chains. Holy shit! Okay, okay. So this happened. He uh, Ron takes a big old like he takes your advice, takes a bite of the chain, and. You know, like, Jim Dark is looking at Alan and hor horrified. He's like, you're going to break your teeth. And then he takes a bite, and it doesn't crack apart, but it does give a little bit. Like, it does actually oh. it does actually do something. Uh, now, you hear a little I... bit of a crack, and you see, like, the chain is, like, a little crack in it. Now, at this point, if it's a little broken, can I use my half-orc strength to just fucking rip this shit? You could try. I mean, that's on your chains that that, that happened. Well, yeah, because I didn't think he's, he's biting my. He's chains, biting your right? chains. Okay, great. So yeah, yeah, I mean, you can do a do, roll a d twenty and add your strength modifier from your character sheet. I'll pull that up. If oh you wait, want to just roll a d. You should have a sip of this magic mushroom. Oh, man. Oh, wait. Strength. I didn't add my. You rolled an eighteen. Wait. That's okay. You can just kind of add it in your head. I like to play wait, it as so... if it is a pen and paper RPG, not as if it's a computer program. So I'm just using roll twenty to like. So D have a space. D twenty eighteen. Then you, my strength. Yeah, you rolled the same thing that Ron did, which is a really good roll. I think your strength two and fifteen, right? Yeah. So, which so one it's is? a plus two, is what you're at. So I got twenty. That's okay, your, that's oh, your shit. modifier. So yeah, with a twenty, you actually affect it as well. Roll a D four. D four. Okay. D four. Three plus your strength, which is two, so that's a five damage to it. So yeah, you as well. You do another like big pull, and you hear like a loud chunk as the chains pull tight, and you um, like you can just see that 
it bends a little bit. It's still held together, but it does bend a little bit. So you Wait, know so- from this that it is possible. But Jim Jar's like, okay. guys, 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 and like you see, like a uh, one of the, like oh, he points fuck. over, and one of the drow is like coming and up. One of us is gonna have to drown this motherfucker in our suit. Years. Basically, basically, <laughs> that, that worked. You both did aces, and it was a good plan. Is what I'm is what I'm selling you out of character as a DM. Uh, but you can't yeah. do that too often without having like a. Uh, like, you know, without having a, a plan to sort when Ooh, shit goes but down. I, but I've got an idea now. But, like, I'm going to say, like, once a day you could try to, like, smash that. And now it's already damaged, okay. so it's, like, it's like pretty much half wrecked already. All right. You can see that it's, Ooh, like, okay. noticeably yeah. damaged, and you're hoping that the, the guards don't notice that when they... Yeah, yeah. Move you around. I'm just gonna kind of, I'm gonna just kind of stand around with like my hands together and my uh, the chains on underneath the the tarp that I'm wearing. This guy just like kind of peeks in, looks around, and everyone's kind of like do 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 do. I'm gonna roll. Now wait. Well, there. also, how how lit is this cave? It's pretty dark. Uh, okay. So yeah, he won't. But the drow shit. have uh, like night dark vision. Some of your oh, characters shit. might have dark vision too. As an orc, you do. I do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think... Does everybody here? Dragonborn don't. It's pretty dark to you, crazy. Oh, what's your <laughs> name, by the way? What's your character's name, crazy? Oh, he's left. Did you not see he said he had to leave? Okay, sorry, I missed that. Uh, that's cool. He's a mysterious dragonborn. Pretty sure his name is crazy. Last name, Faith. Crazy? <laughs> I think he had a name... I do like to imagine though if oh, it's yeah. so dark he's walking into walls. And I forgot. Shit. <laughs> Kumbad. Kumbad. The gifted. Right. Oh god, that's right. That's he was he the by. um Kumquat. So basically like the the guard looks in, uh and everybody kinda acts natural. Uh and then he yeah, he he go he goes back to what he was doing, back into the door. <clears throat> okay. Um but yes, you've got the attention of everybody who's like, Did that did that work? Jim Dar's like, I can't believe that worked. I can't believe that worked. That was none you of you. None strong. of you tried to like fuck with the chains at all. I'm a tiny little deep gnome. What the hell do you think I'm gonna do about it? Yeah, that's fair. I was too busy trying to eat soup. <laughs> There's not much to it. I don't know why you put so much effort in there. No, it's stool. I keep on trying to talk him to take a swim in it, and he won't listen to me. <laughs> so yeah, you're just walking, trying to sweep him into the bowl, and he's like, yeah, "No, stop." It's... Yeah, he's just not playing my games. He's actually like kind of enjoying it. Like you can hear his like thoughts. He's like, ha, 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 like running away from you. Is like you're trying to. Get <laughs> I flirt. Away. It's yeah. I I got a weird way of about me, you know. But until the green chick showed up, still was it. Hubba hubba. Because <laughs> that ginger doesn't exist in my world still. Like, dude, I'm right here. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not inviting you back to my cabin. It's that simple. Jim Jar comes up to uh, the orc. Luckily, the spores are all going off still, and he says, "Look, while we got this time, we should probably we should probably make a plan. I feel like we've got a week, maybe more, to to get a plan and get out of here. We've got to we've got to do everything we can. Uh, I I think." I think we got pretty big numbers. I've never seen the place so full like this. Uh, I feel like we might be, uh, we might be in luck. Yeah, I'm not sure. Did, well, there anyone, are anyone, there are a lot of people. Anyone here know how to pick locks? Does anyone know how to pick locks? I mean, I could try. I got no tools though. Uh, that's usually the way it works. Oh shit! Wait, I have another idea. The, see, we the, being in this cave. Luckily, we have all these nice big rocks here. We could maybe try to just, you know, once once me and Ron here get out, we can just try to smash our smash everyone's chains open, and you know, maybe by the time the guard hears, we can actually like <sighs> we can actually like rush the guards. Those guards aren't the only ones around. That's the thing. Yeah, but if we this can take out these two, we can get out. We can just <gasps> we can take their uniforms. And you know, oh, shit, <laughs> that's not a bad idea. Uh, you know, know you know, know like right. most of you know, and Pi. Uh, sorry, yep. what's your name? Dag. <laughs> Dag, Dag Baker, Dag Baker. <laughs> so yeah, you like yeah, you, you're starting to hear the word from everybody else. Everybody is kind of like Bapito and Jim Jar coming over to the back of this area. They're kind of in on the planning. I'm gonna say Crazy's in on it too. These guys are kind of sitting off to the side, overhearing it. The big monster guy is just kind of like 
pacing. Uh, he and he he comes over. Uh, does anybody speak Elvish? Oh no, he's probably got some spores on him, anyways. Yeah, we'll just we'll just say spores. <laughs> I'll shake stool around. I I'm pretty much running around with stool uh, raped around, draped around my my neck anyway. So anybody near me is going to get spored. You hear this quagoth, and his voice is like not like you would expect. He starts speaking in proper Elvish, and he's like talking about how like he's like I. I'm not what you see, actually. Uh, I am a prince. A prin- an elven prince. Prince Darendil. Uh, I've been cursed into this body for what seems like forever. And roaming these underdark caves banished from my realms. Uh, I was captured not long ago and brought here. And I-, I hear you talking about escape. And I've got to say, I've got to get back to my, my, my kingdom. I'm sure they're missing their prince. Yeah, well, like, good. Um, what? Do you have any sort of like hip- tools, hypnosis powers, maybe? So when we get out of here, we can instead of getting into a big fight with the guards, you can just kind of you know spook them up or whatever. Uh, myself, no, I've got. I mean, in my elephant form, I might have had other abilities. Uh, uh. In, in this form, I, I seem to just be some kind of giant creature. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Well, uh, I see you got those long ass arms. Maybe you can just I like. I do have these long ass arms, though. <laughs> I could probably smack them. I, I think that'll do. All right, you, um, you stay there then. And I'm gonna stay here. We're gonna I'll... keep. We're gonna. We're gonna keep trying to get out of all these goddamn chains. How do they get all of this anyway? Isn't there like a deficit of iron in the in the realm? Like. I thought like the miners were on strike or some shit. Like there's, I don't know. Anyway, well, actually, right. think now that you all mentioned this... it, you are the miners. Like you, you guys have been doing all kinds of tasks, <laughs> hard oh. labor. Like not only around this outpost, but they send you out into the mines for like twelve, fifteen hours at a time, uh, like guarded ah. at all times. Um, oh, the, there not only are like upwards of nineteen, twenty drow here. Who run the place? Those, those, uh, like the main girl Ilvara, who runs the place. She's a priestess. She is like you. You can tell she's pretty like she thinks this is kind of like below her this position, but she knows that it's a it's a means to move up in the world in the rankings and always to like do better for the goddess Lolth, who she is like who's like the spider queen, spider god of the Drow. Um, it's a matriarchal society, so the women are like a class above all the males, um, which is, yeah, which is kind of why she treats everybody like shit, including the people under her. Um, other than like Asha, which is kind of her second in command female. Uh, she is, uh, you know, she's, she's kind of biding her time waiting for the position herself. She kind of wants it. Whereas the Mm -hmm. other one doesn't. And she kind of has this little bit of salt about it for that. Uh, and the two guys, the two main guys who are with them are Shore, which is that cocky guy who kind of gave you the what what. Uh, he's been in charge. You can hear from Jim Jar. He's been in charge for a couple of weeks, uh, or most of the, most of the last week and a half or two, uh, because uh, Jorland, the other guy, his scarring and like all that like uh, that basically handicap that he has is from. Uh, he went out on a raid or he went out on a task and he came back like almost dead. They basically kept him alive uh, and healed him as best they could. But there is like definite uh, like scarring physically as well as uh, mentally as he was basically dropped from his position and replaced by shore. Uh, and not, and not only you hear like Bapito says, not only, not only were they, uh, was he second in command? He was also her lover. And now it seems Ooh. like, Sure, it's taken over that task as well. Uh, so you can see, like, you know, the other guy is like really, really moody about it. And you see them kind of talking. They kind of stick to, uh, like, Ilvara and Shore and Asha and Jorlan will do their shifts together. So they're kind of like, there's those two groups of people. Um, uh, and then on top of them, there are just a bunch of drow around, like, constant guard shifts and guard changes. They got it locked down as well as on top of that, they have a bunch of Quagas, which is that same Prince Darendel, that guy, except for like their actual monster forms, uh, not a half, like not a Prince Elf. 
Um, mm. And they do like kind of the, a lot of the heavy, heavy lifting and they run this lift. Um, there's like an elevator that goes down. Because I haven't really described the place that you're in. But since you've been like, I'm going to say like days are passing as you guys are like kind of making your schemes and like kind of keeping your eye and gaining as much information as you can. You're doing tasks, one of which is uh, taking like taking a lift down to the surface and you see this cave it like raises all up to the roof uh let me just go to the page yeah, it raises the roof so obvious velkenvel the drow outpost it's called velkenvel it is located high in a cavern so in the ceiling of the cavern built a hundred feet above the rocky floor the outpost consists of a series of small caves in the cavern walls um kind of like the one you're in now uh, and four hanging towers, which are hollowed out stalactites, connected by walkways, stairs, and rope bridges. The towers, so there's these, uh, here, I will actually just reveal this bottom part, because that's going to be better. I can use my words and the picture. Let's do it. It's always good when you can use more than just your words. So, you guys can see this for sure. Okay. You can see that? That's been revealed, correct? Yep. Yeah. So the, yeah, there's a stalactite. You, the, the number ten there is where the guards are kind of chilling. You can see them through their doorway. They can see your the the gate that's locked up on your cave that you're in over there. Uh, and we're you, in eleven, oh, right? Right. You're in eleven, yeah. And you can so see ten it. is that stalactite that they're hanging in. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. Uh, and you have done you've done some work. You can see there's like a waterfall here. There's like another stalactite there. You've been. I'm liking that waterfall. I gotta say, yeah, there's a waterfall. It's where uh, it's where you guys do the laundry. If you have to do the laundry, you kind of wash it over there, oh. and then you can hang it off the other end. There's oh, okay. I've got I've got all sorts of plans now. Another stalactite here. Uh, this this is the the uh, kind of like quarters for most of the guys that hang around. Most of the guards hang out in there. Uh, there's a stalactite here and here as well. And then these kind of go off. And these two number fours are the stalactite you think that guard most of the, or that have most of the, like, really, like, high tier guards. Because there's, like, a bunch of schlubs in this one area. Eh, eh. And then there's, like, uh, like higher tier guys. And then there's this big stalactite you assume is for, like, the, the head chiefs, like, Ilvara and, uh, and Asha. Um, mm -hmm. great. So that's basically, does that make sense for your layout? So this lift here is what you use to go down a hundred feet. Uh, they put you in there, they drop you down with a bunch of empty barrels and you fill up empty barrels down in the, in the water below and then load up the thing back up and you, and you, uh, and you, uh, you know, basically do all their tasks for them. You also do a bunch of stuff like, um, you're doing laundry, you're doing cleaning, you're doing chamber pot clearing, you're hauling how many, water and making food. How many food. guards are with us when we, when, the, when we do that kind of thing? At any given time, you're outnumbered by, like, double. Like Really? That many? Yeah, they'll Holy throw shit. they'll throw three, three to six guards on you, no problem. They usually keep the work groups down to, like, probably three. You know how much faster this work could get done if these bastards would actually work with us instead of just watching us? Well, that's no. You are underneath them. The drow, they make it very clear that you are just nothing to them. I think we need like, to talk to this drow that's in our thing with us and wonder how he got so lucky to be part of our group. Go ahead. You go up and say, what's the deal? or What's up? Hey, what the fuck, dog? What? What, what do you so what, do? You, so what do you think of Green over there? Green. Yeah, Greeny. The orc? Greeny McFucknuts. <laughs> I mean, it looks like she's pretty, uh, pretty up to you to get out of here. I don't know. So why don't you want to get out of here? What's your deal? <sighs> why are you so excited to sit around and hang out here with us? I mean, what am I going to do? I'm screwed either way. I'm a drow locked in here with a bunch of drow prisoners. Like... <sighs> Yeah, don't you want to get out of here? I'd love to. I just, I mean, you guys are nothing compared to them. It doesn't matter what you come up with. And even if I get out, I mean, I've been... 
I've been tossed in here because they think I killed somebody, and I, I mean, how am I going to get out of that? I've been framed, man. I can't do much. Accused of a murder. I don't even remember committing, apparently. Tell me how that works. Tequila. I don't drink. <laughs> Listen, tequila is the only answer I've got for most of the things that happened to me in my life. Okay, so what? You're just going to be content sitting I've never here heard and of this being tequila. It's nectar of the gods. It's phenomenal stuff. You should get into it. It'll change your life for the best and worst at the same time. As soon as I became in prison, my my name was sullied. There's nothing for me out there anymore. But I mean. I'm not going to stop you. You do whatever you... I mean, if there's a way out other than whatever's come for me, because I'm pretty sure, even though you all are going to be slaves, I'm I'm being sent up the city for, you know, my death. Uh, I got nothing. So if there's a way out, I'll, I'll travel the Underdark as a hermit forever. Screw it. Who's who's talking right now, by the way? His name's <laughs> Sarath. He's the drow down here. Oh, okay. Can I click on this? I don't even know. I'm going to change his name to Bull Tits. He's useless. Oh, I know what I'm doing. Here we go. <laughs> this guy. This guy down okay. here. His okay. name's... His name's Sarek... Sarath. Kiskarit. Zekarit, maybe. There's a bunch of K's and Z's. Uh, <laughs> he, was, he used to be a drought warrior, but he's been accused of murdering one of his fellow warriors in a fit of madness. He doesn't remember it at all, though. That's what he tells um, you. Am, he thinks it's a am, setup or he's been framed. And Am I aware of this? You kind of see him. He looks like he's he looks like he's really concerned about it, though. Like, he, there's almost like a part of him, maybe, that the, he's, like, unsure of the story that he's telling you, even. Okay. Well, but if, are you if aware I, of it? Yeah, they heard you, like, kind of, like, they heard him mention you, so it attracted your attention, sure. Okay. Well, because at that point, then, I don't trust that guy. Because I think if he's, like, He's like he's been betrayed by them. He's gonna want to get back in their good graces, and he's gonna betray us when we escape. So I'm I'm gonna keep my eye on that fucker. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean that this all comes into your planning. Like, what do you think of these characters? Do you think they're gonna help you? Do you want to escape with them or like <laughs> I don't know, use them as a distraction? It's all up to you. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something to that guy. But you're planning over the next couple of days. Like, we'll say that like. Uh, like for for a game mechanic fun time like whenever we're like talking about the plan it would be like one of the moments where you have at night when you're all together during meal time to like discuss what's happening but that's like only mm-hmm. a, a little bit of time before they're like all right lights out qu- all quiet like go to sleep uh, and even then like <coughs> with the telepathy you can continue planning uh yeah you'll be tired or whatever uh but let's do some uh sorry go ahead anybody else want to say anything i else? was Kind thinking of that you know if at this stage if he's just that useless we should start practicing on how to kill a drow and just use him See, what i want to do is i say my, my the chains are weak i just need to pull them a little farther so what i could do is get behind the guy whatever his name is carrot top or whatever yeah and get chains behind him like choke him out like hitman style and try to break my chains on his neck and kill him at the same time Nice. Mm. Jim Dark kind of tells you, like, we, we got to we gotta wait for the moment. There's going to be a moment. There's got to be a moment. And There's got to be a moment. But Vito right. says, I, there is a plan. There's always a plan. And I, and he's in with the, he wants to escape. He wants to get out of here. And he's like, I know we can do it. I, it's written in the stars. And let's not say stars because he's, he's an underdark character who's never seen stars. But <laughs> it's, written it's written in the mushrooms. By the face. In the cave paintings. There is... There is. I can see it in the I force. Have the faith. Jim can we make him a Jedi? <laughs> <laughs> He's an old Jedi master. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll go. We'll pop into the morning time. Uh, some guards pop open the door. They say, "All right, you, 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 you're coming with us." He talks to uh, Pi and and uh, the cartooner and. Uh, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll say we'll say Rivethead too, just so we get all the whole game. Yeah, oh, get, get the party together. Yeah, <laughs> that is the three. I was gonna, yeah, exactly. I was gonna do another group as well, but we'll just go for this. It's like you guys are on. Uh, you guys are on the best. Du- oh yeah, you guys are on the best duty ever. Duty, duty. 
Ah, shit, literally. You're darn right. <laughs> You're darn right. And, uh, you know, uh, short, short, no, actually, Jorlan is there as well. The, uh, the scarred, the scarred drow. Oh. With, uh, with ashes. Oh, kind of second what happened to your face, command. dude? He just, like, gives you this look like he knows you're fucking with him to get a rise and just, like, motions to, like, get you guys moving. Uh, they take you out to the uh, to the lift. No, not... To, yeah, over to the lift area towards the uh, the second room is, and they... So, like... It's that? the guard room. Yeah. Yeah, sure, we could do that. Okay. Just for kicks. Pi, you have control of your character? Not at all. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I was trying. I was like, oh, yeah, no. Sorry, dude. I forgot all about that. Um, cool. There you go. Wee. And uh, so, yeah, you, <laughs> they throw you in there. And <laughs> I'm doing you a piggy, piggyback ride. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that you see a bunch of, uh, like, almost like bedpan buckets. And, like, just Pull like <laughs> one for each of you in the corner. And uh, they you know they roll up this uh kind of bigger bucket that's on wheels and say all right you've got to hit the guards quarters you've got to hit uh you've got to hit the the cell that you guys are in and you've got to hit the quagath den so enjoy that uh clear out all the buckets and uh then bring it back to the lift here are there guards in the guards den there's there's basically guards everywhere. Uh, if you want to try to pull some stuff, you can go I, right Well, ahead. at the very least, I want to find something. I want to find something to lockpick. So just something little I can like slip okay. into my in my pockets or something. I'm gonna get you oh. to roll on a table here as soon as I locate it. Uh, yeah, roll a. What the? Roll a d20. Okay, roll a d20, and then add the number of days that you've been here on that first d10 roll. How many was it? The first one, I was here two days. Okay, so you got a 19. God damn. You, so I... while, okay, while you're going through the, uh, the room, you manage to come across a, a flawed gemstone. Just a 10 gold oh, piece worth gemstone, and you just really quickly pocket that away. Somebody shit out, Jim. But I I need a lockpick. I don't need a gemstone. Oh, well, I mean, you you get what you get. <laughs> Fuck. Um. Do we well, like? Did if we you'd rolled a twenty, I would have said you straight up found a lockpick. But you know. <laughs> did we like see how we got down here, or were we like unconscious? You were unconscious. You were you were basically nabbed by a raiding party at some point. You can you can kind of make up your backstory and how you were like grabbed before. But a, a drow raiding party. Uh, it looks like they ransacked a whole dwarven village or something because like they got a bunch of you. <laughs> you might all know each other like uh, i don't think rivet does because he's a his background but i mean i think he's a pirate isn't he like you might know i'm a butt pirate even though you're not you're you're raised by humans so maybe you were from a different place uh but yeah anyways yeah. all good fun hmm. um, don't trust the humans so yeah uh, why don't everybody roll a d20 and add your constitution modifier from your Character sheets. Ooh, oh, shit. Who is that? You? Yeah. Okay. How do I roll? So I got a four then. <laughs> yeah. I one constitution. Okay. All right. Uh, now uh, let's get to old salty and uh, and Mr. my constitution Mr. is a four, Mr. Baker. My constitution is who? So you got a fourteen, and you got a sixteen. All yeah. right. So you guys are you guys are dumping the uh, the buckets into the pail. Uh, Pi goes first, dumps it in, and kind of walks away, kind of like well, holding it, holding his uh, nose or whatever. Kind of took it really well though. Like for a dwarf, I mean, you could handle that. And salty, salty crust goes up, dumps it in. Looks a little bit, looks a little bit queasy, but uh, you know, he handles it well. And then uh, it's the hangover. Orc goes up, dumps the bucket, and just. It's too much. You feel the you feel your mushroom stew from last night bubble in your stomach, and <laughs> you you let off and just hurt. <laughs> and then uh, uh, that's gonna that's gonna do me a number. Oh uh, shit! The uh, the uh, drow kind of like, oh no, we got a wet one, and like just you basically have to stay behind uh, and clean that up. 
<laughs> and as well like they give you like a couple rags to clean that up with you end up having to like clean up your own disgusting mess before moving on to the next room so yeah Ugh. you guys can move on and uh you get to uh you get to your own prison cell. they kind of like have a couple door uh dude standing by to like watch and make sure everything's going fine as well as the backup but uh you know you go in there, you grab the buckets, and let's have a couple more rolls, see how we do. <laughs> what, a d20 again? Another con, uh, and you're going to roll with advantage. Oh. <laughs> you're going to roll with the... Oh, jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Doofy, you did all right this time. Yeah, our, our, everything's already up. I'm good. Everybody else, like, with the, you know, the nasty, uh, the nasty orc, orc uh, bucket doesn't for you this time, so whereas... Uh, Whereas uh, you're a little okay, you're a little more okay with it because being an orc, you're used to your own kind. But yeah, it's just like nasty, like this. Nasty this stuff. is nothing. You see what my dad does. You see these two. Uh, <laughs> these two. My little, dad after a night of drinking. Holy shit! These two little guys down here kind of chuckle at you, and they're like laughing to themselves as you're like trying to do this. Uh, and that's it. Just roll one more time, real quick, to see how the last one goes. A couple con checks. And yeah, just like messes everywhere. And oh, the, the drow are just laughing, Damn. laughing at you as you're doing this. Ooh, Can I again? accidentally spill <laughs> a little on one of them? <laughs> on one of uh, the these the drow. Little, these little or the drow? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and do a deception check to see how uh, how that goes. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, do you have <laughs> any ads to that? I don't think so, eh? No. <laughs> All right. He definitely sees... I'm going to roll... Uh, let's roll some dice. He sees it coming, but it can't move fast enough uh, and just, like, gets a little on his feet and you just look up and he's furious at you. Uh, he oh <laughs> just pulls out his crossbow, levels it at you, and shoots, oh my God. You, shoots now, you in the wait. leg. Wait, now before he shoots... Yeah. Because I see my picture, I have... I have a bow, and I'm a am I I'm a ranger, right? You don't have yeah. a bow. You've been stripped of everything. I know. I don't yeah. have a bow. Yeah. But I, that I'm just thinking I'm probably used to using a bow. Can I like? Can I try to grab it from him? I'm, I'm a sure. martial artist. Yeah, sure. You can try to make a grab at it. Roll a dexterity check. What, what a d20 again? D20. Yeah, and add your modifier. Fuck. Okay. Hold on. Seven, and then dexterity. Plus three, so that's a ten. So I, I mean, okay. You do make a swipe that's at him, it. not fast enough to get it away, but fast enough that the other, the other drow kind of grab one each, like one of one of each of your arms and just toss you into the, just into the, uh, into the cell. Uh, roll another <laughs> dexterity check, or a save, I guess maybe. I don't know if there's a difference. Uh, yeah, okay, you save yourself, you stumble a bit, you don't fall down into the pile of, uh, <laughs> shit and puke or anything, <laughs> thank, but thank you got to stumble over it and, like, actually, Ront will come up and kind of, like, catch you as you're getting thrown into the cell. <laughs> Thanks, Dexter Jetster. Um, Pi and, uh, Rivet, do a, do a roll like you did before, uh, roll a d20 and add the d10 roll from before. D10. Oh, you never rolled a D10 pie because you kind of no. came in late. So roll a D10 as well and add that to the four. God damn it. Eight. Eight. <laughs> you don't find shit. Well, you literally do find shit, but um, that's all you find in your uh, in your adventures. And Rivet. I got nine and a five, so I got 14. And you got a 14. As, you're, uh, as this scuffle is going on, you just like, wh what are you kind of doing during this moment? You... Well, I mean, I've got no weapons. I've got nothing else, and I'm too busy trying. Well, it's all I, I, as much really quickly, but uh... yeah, I, I, well, I'm, I'm I try to get down low so I can see if I can check up green skirt at all, but I'm not getting anything. So I'm looking <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> you are looking on the floor, and uh, you see you see a little bit of movement. And as you look a little bit closer, put your hand out uh, a little bit, a little spider about the size of a tarantula crawls up into your hand, and you kind of hide it away, uh, like I you kind of. 
palm it and you hold your hand to your chest as a, as a drow turns around, grabs you, throws you back into the cell. And they're like, shit, nice. dude, he's done for the day. Shit is done. I'm we'll glad your, the shit's done. We'll have your meal soon. Maybe. And they, and they slam the door Fuck. closed and take off. And um, Asha, mm. Asha takes off into the guard's post. But you see Jorlin looking in with his like scarred face like through the one good eye. Kind of like surveying the crowd, taking account of everybody. And um, sorry, I'll put you guys back in there. And like kind of kind of eyeing you all. You come right up to him. Yeah, what, are you, what are you looking at? Four eyes? <laughs> doesn't, even if he doesn't have glasses, I'm going to call him four eyes anyway. Who, me? He doesn't get the uh, Jorlan. He doesn't get the uh, the pun or the joke, but he kind of is just says, just looking for now, and then walks off. Ooh, spooky. All right, I'm like, so you've got another like meal, a meal time maybe coming. They said. <laughs> all right, but hey, you're all any, back in the cage. Some of you smell pretty, pretty terrible. And Jim Jar is like really quick to say, "Gosh, that did not go too well for you guys, did it? It went great." <laughs> well, you smell terrible, it. says Pepito. Uh, you guys are freaking. You gotta watch those. Uh, watch those buckets. You gotta have a system for that. You think I smell better than you look. You think out of the three of you, all that strength put together, you would have been able to handle it, but nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I only threw up twice, you know? That's I mean, that's not bad, right? I, I mean, I've seen worse, but I've definitely seen better. Jim Dar is <laughs> like, yeah, you know, it's all right. Uh, maybe you'll get water duty tomorrow and you can you can take a bath in the in the lake. So who here is smart, then? Who here is smart? Uh, With intelligence? Everybody's like, all right. It seems like... Oh, well, like, because, I mean, I pick up that gem, and I want to see if anyone knows what the fuck it is. Okay. I mean... So, like, who would I show? Like, Hmm. From what you can tell, like, uh, like Jim Jar seems to have a way about him. He's actually also pretty... <laughs> You've In the past couple of days, he's been... A couple of times, he's like, I'll bet you this. I'll bet you... Bet you you can, uh, I can, you know, get more soup than you, or I bet you I can make more, you know, do the laundry faster than you. He's been constantly betting, so you knew, you know, he has a way about monies. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna show, making sure my back is to the trader in the corner there, the presumed <laughs> trader. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show Jim Jar the, uh, the gym. Oh, where'd you get that? Fucking saw in the guards' quarters, man. That's clean, crazy. When it's clean, they're shit. Um, that's crazy. Oh my god, uh, it's beautiful. I mean, it looks like it? it's a, it's a gemstone, a carnelian gemstone. It looks like to me. Oh, all right, cool. I, I mean, mean, like it's a, probably worth we, about we, ten gold. Do you wanna? Uh, do, uh, do you wanna? Do you wanna? Do you wanna make a bet? You wanna? You wanna maybe put some, uh, put some interest in that? I wouldn't mind getting my little uh, paws on that. Okay. Um. What do you hmm. think? What do you think? Hey, uh, out of all these. I, out of all these know. dwarves, who do you think would win in a fight? Uh, I don't. I mean, Salt over there. He's. I mean, he's a pirate, right? Uh, yeah, from what he sells as a so, sailing I mean, story, he seems he like, like it. He seems like a tough boy. At the same time, though, definitely an alcoholic. You know, like he's talking about tequila all the goddamn time. He it's it's been two weeks, and I could still smell the alcohol on his breath. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you can smell I, that over the shit, then uh, that's pretty good for you. You're right. Yeah, yeah. It's even he better for kind me. Of, uh, kind of like I think I think he's still drunk from the last time he drank. It's a pretty good system. Pretty good uh, dwarven tolerance, but uh, maybe he's saving some for later. Maybe he's got some on him. Stubbed away in that oh. beard or something. <laughs> uh, hey, you got any? You got any booze on you? Who me? Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm looking. I'm looking. Look right at you. Obviously, you. Not <laughs> on me. In me. In you. Okay. Well. Never mind then. Uh, you can always tap a vein if you'd like. So what do you say? <laughs> About forty proof. <laughs> what do you say? You want to put a wager on it? I'll, I'd say the uh, the other one there, the the big guy. Probably take him out. I don't remember his name. Um. What's the name Baker. again? Baker. Yeah. Oh, right. it's like Doug Baker or something. What do you say, shake? 
Bob Barker. Um, yeah, I'm I'm betting on Salty despite his alcoholism. All right, all right. It's a good bet. All right, now all we got to do is make him fight. <laughs> I don't think it's fair because I'm not a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, why am I put into this? <laughs> so I don't know if you guys overheard the uh, bet going on or if, like, whatever, but I think uh, uh, Jim Dar will just come up to uh, Salty and be like, hey, uh, you know Eldith? Uh, I heard her and her Becca talking about uh, how you... Uh, you're a pretty weak-looking dwarf. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know you know anything about that. Uh, but, uh, you know, just so you know, they think you're weak, and uh, they think you smell bad, and they probably uh, think your mother, or, you know, uh, loves elves. So uh, there's some information for you. He just walks off. <laughs> and he gives uh, <laughs> he gives you a wink cartoon. You're like, that ought to do it. <laughs> Yeah. I'm um, going to yeah. shove Jim Jar's face so far. Don't ask. All right, uh, roll oh. the d20. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that. What uh, what action would you like to take? I'm going to fold him in half, shove his head up his own ass, so that he can actually <laughs> stop talking to me like that. Uh, All right. Yeah. I rolled oh, a no. two. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he rolled a one, so he, uh, <laughs> oh. you, you oh, both, you both kind of grapple with each other for a while. Uh, he slips and falls down into the puke and shit. Uh, and oh, then you just God. like, you get to laugh it off as you stand there over him. Perfect. That works too. Like, ah, God, God dang it. Ah, oh, gosh. And you're like, hey, Doug, you see the guy over there? He's a fucking bully, isn't he? You should probably, uh, probably go teach him a lesson. Who? That guy? <laughs> yeah, the, the dwarf, the little dwarf boy over there. Yeah. Nah, he seems nice. I don't know. I don't know. He seems like a like a bully. Oh, shit, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> My guy hey, is hey, terrible so... at reading people. <laughs> it's probably <laughs> obvious from. Hey, Doesn't salty! That guy, that guy over there, Doug. He just he just called you a pussy. Are you gonna stand for that? Yeah, cause I am what I eat. Piss off. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Well, they're not taking the bait. The uh, Ront the Orc comes over to Eldith and he says, Hey, Dwarf, they're, they're trying to get you guys to fight. You should fight. D- dude! <laughs> he's trying to, he's trying to like, impress you and get, get, in on the, uh, get in on the joke <laughs> with you. Fight! They're trying, they made a bet. They want you to fight. You should fight those dwarves. And he kind of thinks, like, it's a good idea. Like, he would fight for entertainment. Like, that's a cool idea. Like, why well, wouldn't yeah. she be down with it? And so I was kind of just like, shut up, Ront. Oh, is it Ront? Ront. I thought it was Ron. Ront. That was, uh, that was Burgundy, right? Ron Burgundy? Ront. Yeah, or like, Ront. Ron, any sort of Ron Swanson, maybe. Ront <laughs> Burgundy, actually. <laughs> Burgundy. <laughs> oh, my God. Scotchy, scotchy, scotch. But, uh, you just see, like... <laughs> Pepito, Pepito, and everybody else is kind of like off to the back. They they kind of know what's going on. He uh, he's like kind of chuckling with the prince guy. It seems like since the prince told uh, or like let his story out that he wasn't a monster, everyone's kind of warming up to him in a, in a way. Like they think he's weird, obviously, yeah. but like that story's kind of sympathetic. And Pepito seems to be on board with uh, kind of having him as a friend. The other guy, Sareth, is just like barely paying attention. Mostly just keep it to himself. As usual. And Crazy is just mm-hmm. loving it. I'm assuming. <laughs> Stupid dragon. But he he's kind of interested to see a fight too, uh, honestly. So everyone's all um, ready to go, but the dwarves won't fight each other. <laughs> hey, Doug, you want to put on a show for everybody and pretend that you're a dwarf? It's a dag, and I am not a dwarf. I'm pretend! I said Pretend! <laughs> Jim Jar's like, ooh, them's fighting words. <laughs> oh, you get, are you gonna talk to you like Jim that, Jar, Doug? Shut up, or I'm gonna make you fall in your own vomit again. Is this is this part of the the escape plan? Yes, we like, we, beat, we beat each other up and and then. No, I saw. Like, hey, Ashley, <laughs> that's not a bad idea. <laughs> not really sure where that goes. I, 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 I saw something strike. happening. Jim Jar and fuck nuts. We're chatting, and I think they got a plan for something. So whatever they're planning on doing, they got something going on. So we'll 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 let's just pretend we'll have a fight, and then we'll screw them out of whatever they're doing. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. 
So there you go, Jim really Jam. So Fuck one nuts. Of, one of got to take a swing, then. Is that... Are we doing this? Is this happening right now? And like... Holy shit, what? Really? Holy yeah, God. Yeah, open hand. Happening? Open um, hand? Are you, you going to slap somebody? <laughs> Can I cast spells? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you would know... You Yeah, you've been told that, you like, this area is, uh, like, locked down on spells. You cannot... Uh-huh. Within the uh, prison, anyway. That's probably a good thing. <laughs> right. Before the fight happens, can I? Can we take a quick potty break? Yeah, let's uh, let's take a quick break here. That seems like a good spot. I got. Yeah, I'm about to piss my pants. Oh, I don't great. Want, yeah. I don't want to miss the action. So. Oh, for sure. Right. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a break. We'll, <laughs> after these messages, we'll be right back. 